Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pankaj and today we are going to talk about Masters of Computer Science program at University of Ottawa. I have been receiving quite a few requests on LinkedIn regarding the Masters of Computer Science program. What is the fees? What is the co-op term? How many terms do they need to complete the courses? And regarding the different courses that are present at University of Ottawa. So today here we are to complete and completely understand the entire program of Masters of Computer Science at University of Ottawa. First of all, I would highly recommend the students, especially the international students, to complete or to take the Masters of Computer Science program at the September intake, that is during the fall term. This is because if you take during the fall term, you will be available for the job in the next summer term considering that you have completed the course in three terms. So in the summer term, usually there are a lot of job opportunities in and around Ottawa and also in Canada. So I would highly recommend you to take the course of Masters of Computer Science in the fall term. If you take the course in the winter term, nothing to worry about. You will still have the job opportunity. There will be a lot of job opportunity, but most of the students or most of them consider to take the course in the fall term and get adjusted to the Ottawa culture or to the Canada culture and to the Canada weather uh, because there will be harsh winter in the start of the winter term. So it's better to take the course in the fall term. Now regarding the course, so you will have to complete eight courses plus one final project in the entire Masters of Computer Science. So these eight courses will lead into 24 points. That is each course is three units or three points and the final project will be of six points. So basically you will have to complete 30 points and the same information is provided at the Masters of Computer Science University of Ottawa courses portal. In these eight courses, basically three courses are mandatory or three categories are mandatory. The first category is the software engineering category. That is, you need to complete one course from the software engineering category, one course from theory of computing category, and another course from computer applications or a computer systems category. So this is basically category E, category T, and category S. You need to complete one course from E, one course from T and one course from A or S. So this is a mandatory one that you will have to complete. And other than this, you will you can complete remaining five courses from any of the courses present at the Masters of Computer Science. So also there is a GNG course that is available for the Masters of Computer Science student. So this is basically the general engineering courses. You can take two of them. Uh, in the entire course term. So you can take six core courses plus two GNG courses and one final project. It's completely up to you. So this is regarding the courses. You can find the courses at uh, the portal as I mentioned and the course uh, code begins with CSI 51 and XX. So you can just find that on Google. Also the GNG courses be, uh, begins from GNG 51 and XX, uh, the code uh, varies for different subjects. So you can take the GNG courses as well. While taking the courses, it is highly recommended that you check ratemyprofessors.com because here you will get complete information about how the professor is, uh, what is his or her grading, grading system, whether uh, the professor is strict or not, and whether the curriculum of the course is correctly maintained or not. So you get all the information at ratemyprofessors.com here the students rate the professors and if the students like that they like or dislike so it's completely mentioned at this website so go to ratemyprofessors.com mention the university of ottawa mention the professor's name and you get the entire description or uh, the entire feedback from all the students who has taken the course before this is about uh, the course uh, feedback also, it is recommended that you ask your seniors on which course to take or which course not to take. So this is uh, a general feedback that you get from your seniors and it is highly recommended that you do so because it's sometimes uh, is a plus point when you take an easy course. 
because you want to complete the courses correctly with a good grade. Next, you can complete these courses either in three terms or the four terms. Now, this is a very, very confusing part for all the international students because they consider that if you complete the course in three terms, you will not keep getting a work permit for three years. No, you can complete the course in three terms rather than four terms and then you will get a you will get a complete work permit of three years okay so three terms is you complete you start in the fall term you take three courses for example i had taken three courses in the fall term three courses in the winter term after which there will be two co-op terms that is summer and fall and you take another two courses in the next winter term with one project so this is basically three terms plus two co-op terms so basically you will complete the entire degree in three terms now if you do the, the if you do in such a way that you complete all the eight courses plus one project in three terms you will be saving the fees of one term okay so you will be saving one term's fees which is around eleven thousand dollars coming to the fees at university of ottawa the per term fees for an international student at University of Ottawa for Masters of Computer Science is $11,000. This is per term fees. So if you complete in three terms, it is around $33,000. It covers all the university expenses. Also, you will have two co-op terms as I mentioned. The co-op terms usually begin for in the summer term and next in the fall term for the people or for the students who have taken the admit in the fall term now the co-op is eventually uh, uh, it's 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 got for all the students for masters of computer science program it's available for all mentioned given that you have a cgp cgpa or a grade maintained of b plus and above so if you in all the subjects so you need to have B plus or above in individual subjects in all the subjects that you have taken in the fall term. So then you will be allowed to apply for the co-op in the winter term. Okay. So it the app applying application for co-op is uh, received in the co-op portal. So you will be given an access to the co-op portal if you maintain this criteria of getting a grade of B plus and above. Also, you will get a application an invite application for co-op. Uh, which uh, from the co-op office at University of Ottawa you will be getting receiving an email and this invite of co-op letter you can upload it in GC portal that is uh, GIC portal in order to get your co-op visa. Now co-op visa is very important for the international student because the companies when you join in they will ask you for the work permit so co-op visa is an internship kind of a work permit that will be valid until your study permit so you need to apply go ahead once you receive uh, the invite letter from the university of ottawa make sure immediately you go ahead and apply in the gic portal it's free of cost go ahead log in in the gc key portal and apply for the uh, uh, co-op visa once you apply for the co-op visa generally the uh, time uh, uh, that the co-op visa gets approved is around three months mine got approved in three months and i received an email as well as the gc key portal uh, notifications also i got uh, uh, the work at my co-op visa through the mail at my house okay so at ottawa uh, this is about the co-op visa the co-op fees is three thousand uh, dollars as i mentioned earlier um, and co-op is generally um, it's a paid internship kind of uh, thing for masters of computer science and uh, you have several rounds for co-op so we'll discuss about co-op in the next video probably i'll be making a video on co-op uh, taking the feedback from different students next if you complete the course in three terms you will be saving one term fees as i mentioned also if you take two courses at a time and complete your degree in four terms so two courses in each term and two, 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 two. So eight courses in four terms plus the project. If you do it this way, you get two, th you get $3,000 of bursary amount. So $3,000 of international bursary amount will be credited to your account. If you take two, 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 two courses uh, for uh, in two courses at 
and in four terms so this is uh, usually provided to all the students whoever takes two courses at a time so this is called as an international bursary amount how to apply for this it is basically you don't apply at all if you take two courses automatically after a month or couple of months you get the three thousand dollars bursary amount credited to your account so this is about the fee structure and the co-op term next it is uh, uh, regarding the course enrollment so course enrollment usually begins at the september uh, for example if you are coming for the fall intake fall intake starts at september first your uh, courses begin so the course enrollment will start in the month of august or july end so make sure uh, you uh, receive the email and once you receive the email immediately apply for all the courses prior to this make sure that you have uh, you make sure whatever courses what all courses you will take so make a complete list and take the courses immediately after the course enrollment begins because the seats gets full or it gets filled it gets filled very quickly so it's mandatory that you take the courses as soon as possible or you enroll to the courses as soon as possible make sure that you enroll at least for three or four courses and then you can drop the courses whenever you want uh, like before the course begins or you have certain dates after the course begin as well until when you can drop the courses without the course coming in your report card okay so keep make sure that you have the key dates uh, in mind uh, while taking the courses and while dropping the courses because it should not affect your report card so I think I have covered most of the things also I think one thing which I have not covered is the application for teaching assistant. So as a master's of computer science student, you will be able, allowed or you will be uh, eligible to apply for the teaching assistantship. Make sure that you uh, see your uh, emails regularly because uh, once you get admitted to the University of Ottawa, you will be receiving an email from faculty of engineering and uh, you will uh, in that application you will see that you can apply for teaching assistant for so and so subjects so make sure that you apply for the teaching assistantship because um, this will add to your profile that you are a teaching assistant also this will uh, serve as an income source of income for you when you're doing your course here at master at university of ottawa so i have covered most of the things and i think everything here regarding masters of computer science and if you still have any queries or any doubts regarding Masters of Computer Science at University of Ottawa, please feel free to reach me at uh, the LinkedIn. Uh, I'll be mentioning my LinkedIn uh, uh, you know, connect at the description. And if you have any uh, questions or any doubts or any queries, you can also mention that at uh, the uh, comment section. So I wish you all the best you can definitely go ahead and take the Masters of Computer Science course at University of Ottawa. I personally have taken the course and it's it's just amazing. It's wonderful. Uh, I'm loving it here. And uh, yeah, so you get, you will uh, have enough and enough opportunities here at University of Ottawa for this course. So all the best guys. I hope you like this video. Please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.